Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this question, we have been given a square. In the square, there are two quadrant circle. One is this quadrant circle, taking this as the center. Radius is 2 cm. There is this another quadrant circle, red circle, taking this as the center. The radius of that is 3 cm. And the side of square is 4 cm. Then we have to find the length x. What is this x? This is the line which is tangent to both the quadrant circle. So we have to find the length of the common tangent to these two quadrant circles. This is our question. First let me explain you the solution. Then I will tell you the thought process behind solving this question. So to solve this question I know that I have to use the property of tangent to a circle. So if a line is tangent to a circle. So we know that if you will join the center of that circle to the point of contact of tangent that line will always be perpendicular to the tangent and that length will be equal to radius of that circle so for this quadrant circle this length will be 2 cm and this will be perpendicular to this common tangent next we can see this quadrant circle this is the center here so from here if i will join the point of contact this line will also be perpendicular to the common tangent. So these two lines we always have to draw. Now the next line which I will draw is the that is diagonal of this square. So diagonal length we can easily define because we know the side of square that is 4. We know that the side of square is a side of that diagonal is a root 2 that is also derived by using Pythagoras theorem. So this value is nothing but 4 root 2. In which triangle we do apply Pythagoras theorem? Here it is 90 degree triangle. This is 4. This is also 4. So hypotenuse you can easily find that is 4 root 2. Now we have to find the value of x. So we will only consider this 90 degree and this 90 degree triangle. So let me remove everything from the figure here. So now there are two 90 degree triangles. How do we solve it? So let me just rotate it to explain it in a better way. So I will rotate it like this. Now what I will do, I will just complete a rectangle. How will I do it? I will draw a line from this point parallel to this line and from this point parallel to this common tangent like this one. So this is the line parallel to this one. This length of common tangent is parallel to this one. So all the angles here are 90 degree in this one. So this is a rectangle. So we can say that if this side is 3 cm, this side must be 3 cm and if this is x, this is also x. So now we can easily find x by applying Pythagoras theorem in this 90 degree triangle. So in the 90 degree triangle, I know this is the perpendicular, this is base, this is hypotenuse. So perpendicular square can be written as hypotenuse square minus base square that is 5 square. So x square is nothing but 4 root 2 square minus 5 square. This is 32. This is 25. 32 minus 25 is 7. So x is nothing but root 7. That is the length of common tangent which we have to find. So this is the answer to this question. Now let me explain you about the length of common tangent thought process. How did I get to know I have to complete this 90 degree triangle? So let's go back to the original diagram. So let me just rotate it here. This is the original diagram of the question. So now in finding the length of common tangent to two circles, we have to always draw three lines. One line is from the center of circle perpendicular to tangent. Another is the same line perpendicular to the tangent. Then we will always draw a line joining the center of these two circles. That is why I have drawn the diagonal here. Now in the next step, what you always have to do is consider any of the center of the circles and if I am considering this center of the circle, what I will have to do is from this center of the circle, I will draw a line parallel to the common tangent. That should be your next step. So I will draw this line parallel to the common tangent. So here it is 90 degree. So here it will also be 90 degree. And next step what I will do is that I will extend the this radius by completing this rectangle. So you always have to form this rectangle. These are the steps you have to follow to find the length of common tangent. I have considered this as the center. I have extended this line parallel to common tangent. You can do the same thing by extending a line from here parallel to common tangent and 
extend this radius to meet there you can form a 90 degree triangle this way this side also that you can understand make the diagram and you can see and after completing this rectangle you can easily find this 90 degree triangle in which we have applied Pythagoras theorem so that is the basic thought process of finding the length of common tangent. It is nothing but applying the Pythagoras theorem if you are able to complete this 90 degree triangle here. So now if you can think of any other method of solving this question, feel free to share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.